No, I don't think... Snurdly just asked me. I, I don't think they were ever serious about repealing health care. The Republicans. I don't think they ever were. I think that it has been lip service from the get-go. The votes to stop... I mean, I, I'm talking, the leadership, House and Senate, I don't think they've ever really been serious about repealing Obamacare. Especially since the Supreme Court does it. I don't think so. Well, here's why. I was going to get into this later, but but um, now's as good a time as any. If you go back and, and, and remember, as soon as Obamacare was signed into law, there was a, we're not going to put up with every Republican running for office promised we're going to do everything we can to repeal this, right? It's what Tea Party wanted. It's what most Americans today still want, is this bill to not go full-fledged effect. Most Americans still don't like it, and it's an increasing number. And now the unions are joining the chorus, the anti-Obamacare chorus. Then the Supreme Court decision happened, and the Republicans ramped up again. And they said, well, we are... But now, the Republican leadership in Washington is saying, nah, there's not really anything we can do now. You have Mike Lee, senator from Utah, who has a plan to defund large elements of Obamacare in the continuing resolution fight coming up in September. And a bunch of Republicans are saying, no, nah, we really shouldn't. Dumb idea. Can't do it. Uh, wouldn't make any sense. So I'm wondering, did they ever mean it in the first place then? And I have to tell you, I shouldn't. You know, it's easy to say this in hindsight. I always have had my suspicions about this. But Have you noticed, just in the last, uh, I guess, week to 10 days, an increasing number of Republicans, House and Senate both, in in leadership and high ranking, are just totally caving on it. And they want no part of Mike Lee's effort. And they're out laughing at it or, or making fun of it or saying it doesn't have a prayer or it's dumb or it's stupid or what have you. And it, that, that's what has led me to question how serious they were at first when they talked about trying to repeal it. I know that they were saying what people wanted to hear, politicians do, but there was a, a little bit of me that thought they, that they meant it. They're Republicans. And that nobody ought to be in favor of this. I mean, it's a... We've been, it's a disaster. It's an absolute. But now the, op, the, the energy has gone from the, uh, from the opposition. And something's happened. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Something has changed that has taken the wind out of the sails of all these Republicans who opposed it. Now, I know a lot of polls have been taken. And the polls that the Republicans see, who knows, maybe they've got a, a, a misleading poll that's got them thinking the country doesn't win. I don't think that's true. I just, I just, I don't think they were ever really, let's put it this way. It may be incorrect to say that they were never serious about repeal. Maybe the more accurate thing to say is they were never really serious about rolling up their sleeves and following through on the fight. That may be more accurate. Because if they were, what's happened? More and more Americans are signing on to opposition. You would think that the opposition party would want to link up with that for political reasons alone, just to curry favor, just to be on the side of the majority. But... It's just the exact opposite. As more and more people, at least as expressed in polls, want Obamacare repealed and oppose it for one reason or another, seems like more and more Republicans are throwing in the towel on it. 